Hey, what's up guys? Jeremy with Everything iDevice and welcome to the first top 10 application video of 2013. Uh, now this is kind of a mixture of apps. I usually don't do it this way. I do have a few games and uh, a few regular kind of apps. I usually like to do just regular apps and or just games, but uh, I will be mixing them up this video just a little bit. And before I forget, here is your giveaway right here. So for those of you that know exactly how that works, go ahead and... Uh, get that redeemed for those of you that have no idea what that giveaway is I'll leave the link down in the description so be sure to check that out now like I said here are my top 10 favorite applications for the month of January 2013 so uh, let's just go ahead and let's jump into this now the first application on this list is called repulse this is kind of a a racing game you do have different ship upgrades uh, lots of you know things you can buy for your ship to upgrade them. I'm not going to go through too much of that. I'm just going to show you a bit of the gameplay. It is a very high speed game and it will keep you on your toes. So let's go ahead and let's start this up. Select that track. And as you can see there are different ships you can unlock. I'll just go with this guy here. The next application on this list is National Geographic's World Atlas. Now I literally can't spend too much time in this app because it is slam packed full of information. Uh, surprisingly this application is free and you can basically search out any country or city you can think of and you can find out a ton of information about it. Uh, let's go ahead and let's just select something down here. And if you want to find out more information about the location you're viewing, you can see the country and find out a bunch of information about the actual country. You do have the capital of that country. It even shows the weather and the city that you're viewing with weather there as well. Uh, this is a pretty impressive application just with how much information you can get out of it. Like I said, you can basically search any city you would like. like there's Cuba, Republic of Cuba. And it's, there's just so much information in this application. It's a great app, and it is free. Again, it's called National Geographic's World Atlas. The next application I got for you guys is called PicStitch. This allows you to make collages of your photos. As you can see, there's uh, a ton of different styles you can choose from, which is really pretty cool. Uh, actually, there's a lot of different styles. You can really make some, some crazy looking uh, collages here. I'll go with something a little bit more simple. I'm going to try and you know be quick about this. I don't want to spend too much time on it. So on any different spot here where you want to put a picture, you just double tap. And then I'll go into my photo album and wallpapers. And let's just select this panda guy right here. You can uh, add different effects, kind of like Instagram effects. Uh, you have stickers, um, you can change the orientation, you can crop it. Uh, it. I'll just leave it as is. So there's my panda, and then let's pick out another photo here from my wallpapers. Let's do this panda one right here. I'm not going to add any effects to that. So there you go. That's basically how Pick Stitch works. Just allows you to make some really cool looking collages. And like I said, when you're done with it, you can export it to Facebook, Twitter, you can email it, you can add it to your photo album, Instagram, you can open it in different applications that you might have, and you can even print it to Walgreens, which is pretty cool. Again, this app is called Pick Stitch. Now the next game I got for you guys is Trial Extreme 3. Now it is fun on the iPhone, but uh, it's even better on the iPad. Uh, so let's uh, take a look at Trial Extreme 3. Now the reason why I like this game so much is it reminds me of Trials, which was a game on the Xbox 360, and uh, I got very addicted to that game. So I got very addicted to this game. Uh, like I said, I do have it on my iPhone, but I prefer it on my iPad just because it's a bit more fun. Now, cool thing about this game is I actually have a couple of spots in the leaderboards of this game. I'll just go ahead and uh, show you real quick. So there you go, I am number 26 on this level, there's a couple other levels 
I got some ridiculous times on. So if you guys want to go ahead and challenge me, I'm up for the challenge. There is my uh, my game center name right there. It's Katie Jeremy. That's me and my wife. So now let's go ahead and let's just skip this. All right, here we go. So you got your gas, you got your brake, you got your forward, your back. Pretty uh, pretty simple controls here. Now I am going to try and do my best. This isn't the easiest thing to do through the camera, but it's not too bad. I absolutely love this game. Uh-oh, I'm not going to be able to make it up this. Let me back up. All right, here we go. There we go. So it's a pretty awesome game. I, I'd highly recommend it to you guys. Again, it's called Trial Extreme 3. The next app I got for you guys is called AccuWeather. Yes, this is a weather app. And uh, this weather app in particular is actually pretty nice because it, it's jam-packed with a ton of great information. And uh, it does have video, which I'll get to in a minute. That's what I really like about it. So first, as you can see, uh, it shows your location. As you can see, it's a bit chilly out tonight here in... Uh, in uh, Wisconsin, yeah, a little chilly. Uh, it actually feels like it's negative 13 with the windshield. Right here it shows you the wind speed and the direction it's coming in from. Uh, also you do have the humidity, visibility, sunrise, sunset, pressure, dew point, and then the uh, UV. And we do have an alert right here. So if I can go ahead and click that alert. As you can see, uh, severe weather alert, wind chill advisory, uh, go figure. So next we have the forecast and you can see uh, how many days is this? It's quite a few days. I want to say it's like a 14 day forecast. Uh, next you have the map. So this is your radar. So you can see obviously where uh, clouds are, or storms or anything like that. It's got a nice radar set up with it. And then you do have video. Now this actually shows you uh, uh, news clips of uh, the weather channel, local weather channels for where you live of the weather, which is really kind of cool. And then you just have a more section here, which is uh, lifestyle news, location settings, and uh, uh, overall, it's a great weather application. I would highly recommend it to you guys. Again, it's called AccuWeather. Now, the next game on this list is, of course, Temple Run 2. Uh, this is one of my favorite games right now. Um, it's probably going to be one of my favorites throughout the entire year. It's just an awesome game. Uh, I'm sure most of you know what Temple Run is. This is just the sequel to the first one. So I'm just going to do some gameplay. If it interests you, go and check it out. This is a free application. So there you go. This is Temple Run 2. Check it out, guys. Awesome game. So this next application I got for you guys is definitely a very awesome app. It is called Shazam. Uh, basically, the way this works is if you hear some music uh, on the radio or in the club or wherever you might be and you hear a song that you like, you don't know the name of it, and Shazam will look it up for you. And also, it'll kind of bookmark it for you so you don't forget. Uh, this is truly an awesome application, so let me go ahead and run you guys a quick little demo. So as you can see, it works very fast. And that's basically uh, what Shazam does. It does give you a whole bunch of links, like uh, links to YouTube videos of that song, uh, iTunes links. You can share it on Facebook. You can share it on Twitter. Uh, just a ton of stuff you can do with Shazam. It's a really great app, uh, and I would recommend it to you guys. Again, that is Shazam. This next application I got for you guys is called AutoCare. This is the best uh, automobile application that I've found uh, in terms of usability. And also the look of it looks pretty damn good in my opinion. It reminds me of Windows 8. So it does have a very uh, appealing look to it. So as you can see at the top you do have your fuel there. So every time you get fuel from the gas station just input how much you got and the uh, amount of it. And it will you know after time calculate out your average gas mileage. Uh, you have your services here, so you can keep track of all your services. And a great thing about that, too, is you'll get push notifications when you have a service coming up. Uh, you can have more than one vehicle. So if I want to switch, I can switch over to my wife's car just like that. 
Uh, just a great automobile app in my opinion. The best that I've found. Again, that's called AutoCare. So now, if you guys are looking for an incredibly simplistic alarm clock application, Rise is the app for you. Uh, this app is really cool. It is so simplistic. It's kind of ridiculous. And uh, I'll just show you how it works. So it's actually 12.30 a.m. right now. So let's say I want to set an alarm for tomorrow at 10 o'clock. So you just kind of swipe on the screen right here until you see 10 o'clock. And then let go. You can fine tune it by tapping down or tapping up by five minute increments. And then when you want to turn it on, you just swipe to the side. Now the alarm clock is on. So this is really cool. Uh, it lets you know how, how much time you have until the alarm goes off. Um, you have your sounds here. So you have different sleep tunes. You can create a playlist from your music within your music application. Uh, so you're not limited to the ringtones they have. You can actually use songs, the entire song from your music app, which is awesome. And uh, if you want to turn it off, you can just swipe again. And of course, this will send you, uh, you know, an alarm push notification on your lock screen once it goes off. And I just think it's a really gorgeous, simplistic looking application. Again, it's called Rise. Now, the last application I got for you guys is technically not an app, uh, but it's well worth having on your device. This is one thing that I use to get a lot of these paid apps that I review for you guys for free. Uh, it's called Feature Points. I'll leave the link down in the description. I'll also put it on the screen right here. Uh, be sure to use that link. That's a promo link. It's going to get you some free points right off the bat. Now, as you can see, all you got to do is go to this site. You'll have to install a certificate. It's just the website registering your device. And then you can use any of these uh, free apps here. Just click on it. It will jump you to the uh, app store. You download them for free. Try them out for 30 seconds. Get your points. And then you can redeem your points for uh, a bunch of paid apps and gift cards like I said. Now the best part about feature points is you can get PayPal funds. Uh, now other services that I've covered in the past do not allow this. It's pretty much restricted to just the US but uh, this uh, surface itself allows you to get those PayPal funds so this truly really is worldwide which is pretty awesome. So besides the gift cards as you can see there's a lot of really good apps that you can get for free. Angry Birds Star Wars uh, Cut the Rope, Tiny Wings, Bad Piggies, X-Men, Need for Speed, uh, Mass Effect, uh, The Batman, Dead Space. Uh, there's just a ton of paid apps you can get here. And then down at the bottom are all of the gift cards and PayPal funds, as you can see right there. Uh, again, this is called Feature Points. Be sure to use the link down in the description. It'll get you some free points. So there are my 10 favorite apps of the month. Uh, I'll leave all the links for everything down in the description. So if any of these interest you, be sure to check them out. And uh, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to throw me that thumbs up. That does help me out a lot. Also, if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy with Everything iDevice, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.